I have to make this video quickly. I'm like trying to get a bunch of work done, but this is like kind of important to me. You know, I've mostly worked with a lot of people who had narcissistic parents. Um, I've been in relationships with people who had narcissistic parents, and I have seen what happens when they try to, you know, reason with, explain, you know, come to some kind of agreement with, you know, get an apology from. It, it never goes well for them. I've literally not seen it go well once in 20 years of being interested in this work, not once. Um, and I even had one person I knew who sent their parents a letter about like what had happened to them and how their life, you know, how they were struggling and that they wanted, you know, just this like really heartfelt letter and they got back a few short sentences saying, oh, we don't want to stress you out by having you stay in association with us. So we'll cut you out of the will will stop giving you money, it will stop. Like they basically were like, oh yeah, associating with us stresses you out so much, we're gonna take all your money. And that's, uh, I'm very sad to hear this. Have an, oh, you, you really hurt your mother's feelings. Have a nice life. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? I mean, even if it just, you know, even if it just came down to a basic thing where they're like, oh my God, we had no idea you were in this much pain or, you know, you know, like even if they're like, they don't agree. They're like, well, we don't think this is our fault or our problem, but we're so sorry to hear the pain you're in and we want to try to help you, you know? No. These, these narcissistic parents who put on this show of quote-unquote caring for, worrying about, etc., their children, they actually don't give a flying fuck. They don't, which is really weird. And that's like something I've been thinking about, you know, because... It's not because of Father's Day. I don't know. I, I, start, I stopped talking to my sister. I blocked her because she wouldn't stop messaging me about a year ago. And I've been reconsidering, reconnecting with my male genetics donor um, around this time. And I was like, what do, what do I want from him? And I'm like, if I knew I could get what I wanted from him, would I contact him? And I was like asking myself all these hypothetical kind of questions. And I think, and I'm like, what is it that I really want from him? You know, just trying to be honest with myself. And I'm like, I want an apology. I want some kind of retribution. I want to hear that he has some kind of regret. And, and I'm like, what are the odds of me getting that? And I'm like, yeah, extremely low. So I'm like, what? I'm like, what then would be the purpose of me contacting him at all? And I'm like, could it potentially be damaging to me? Because this man came into my life again when I was like nine years old, and tried to be, quote unquote, kind to me or whatever you want to call it, but it actually messed me up even worse. And I'll make a video about it. So I'm like. You know, not only am I not going to get any kind of emotional retribution or whatever, but I'm probably going to be hurt even worse by the fact that he doesn't care. So I was thinking, and, and it, it really sucks, because I was thinking about that. I'm like, did I stop talking to him? Did I not contact him after a year? He had it in his mind that I was going to attend the family reunion. Um, of course, there's no way in hell I'm doing that. I thought about it. But then after dealing with him and dealing with my sister, I'm like, oh, fuck, no, I'm not. You know, I... I... <laughs> and so then I, I was thinking, did I block him or not call him back or nothing because I want him to kind of feel bad or kind of like hurt or whatever? And I'm like, yeah, a little part of me was kind of like, kind of like that. Like, oh, how does it feel? Kind of A little part of me was like that. But the bigger part of me is aware that this man probably doesn't even care. Like, he's probably not going to notice. There's probably nothing I could do to him that would have any kind of effect on him. He doesn't care about me. He doesn't love me. He doesn't like me. He doesn't know me. He just doesn't care. He's an empty shell of a human who doesn't have capacity for these kind of things. Right? That's like if you have a pet frog and the pet frog is smiling. So you're like, oh, my frog is happy. It loves me. It's like, no. <laughs> that's just that's just how it looks. That's just what it does, you know? So, yeah, that's kind of like 
Hold on, I'm getting this bug out of my apartment. Go. So, no, you're going the wrong way. This way, this way. Come on. There you go. Okay. You always get the real life thing on this channel. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And I found this. Um, so, that's why I advocate for no contact with narcissistic parents. I know people who have tried to be quote unquote civil with them and they don't give a shit. They, they're not gonna be civil with you. They're gonna be confrontational. They're gonna try to keep you in the past. They're going to question your decisions. They're gonna try to control you. They're gonna get in between you and your relationships that are important to you. And it sucks, um, but you really need to look at your programming on parents. Why is it important to you to stay in contact with these people? Is it for financial reasons, security reasons, emotional reasons? And is that contact worth the pain? Anyway, I've got this letter here, uh, this post on Raised by Narcissists on Reddit. I'm going to read it. Um, this doesn't surprise me at all. Um, but it's still kind of sad and shocking seeing people have to get this message drilled in over and over again. So this person wrote, I wrote my narcissistic mom one last letter and her response was worse than I ever imagined. I'm finalizing therapy and decided that I want to get my truth out there and write my narcissistic mother one final letter. I was open about my childhood, how it affected me, how I grew as a person and therefore want to stay no contact. It was freeing and something very important to me, no matter her reaction. After not hearing from me from over one and a half years, I expected rage from her or justifications. She nonchalantly wrote back that my allegations aren't useful to anyone, that she thinks we should make amends with family therapy, and finished it off with criticizing my wording. I think the last thing I felt for her died right there reading that reply. You receive a long, honest, and heartfelt letter from your estranged child, and that's how you respond? I can't even comprehend how twisted her reality is. Narcissists really treat you like an object, and I have her written proof. I thought I was prepared for her answer, but it hurts to be dismissed like that. It shows me that I still have work to do, so I truly don't give a shit about her anymore. But this is so hard. So that word, nonchalantly, ooh, man. They love to be so nonchalant, right? It's just... All of this is just so, I want to say it's unbelievable that people can be like this, but it's very believable, right? The baby boomers, they're all from this generation. They have, they just feel entitled to their children. They feel like their children are objects that the parents get to create and mold as they grow like Play-Doh, even when they're adults. Um, yeah, it's, it's disgusting. It's unfortunate. And we can't expect them to change. We just need to cut them off and not give them access to us. That's pretty much it. Um, there are some that have narcissistic traits, right? All humans have narcissistic traits, um, but they can still be reasoned with, or they still have empathy, or they still have common sense and decency, but a lot of these people don't. And um, yeah, once you kind of realize that, it's good to distance yourself from them and not allow them access to you. And hello to my ex's parents who still check my website click my links and watch my videos. If you're listening, yes, you're right. You're so vain and this song is indeed about you. Have a wonderful day.